Magnitude of the lattice translation vector in three dimensions. Let R be a lattice translation vector between two lattice points in a three-dimensional space lattice such that R is N1A plus N2B plus N3C vectors, which is uh, also which can also be written as P A hat plus Q B hat plus S C hat. So this A hat, B hat, and C hat are uh, unit vectors in the direction of A, B, and C vectors, respectively. Uh, so that P vector is N1 A vector, Q vector is N2 B vector, and S vector is N3 C vector, where N1, N2, and N3 are integers. Let alpha, beta, gamma be the angles between P, Q, Q, S, and S, P vectors, respectively. Okay. Uh, and Maybe I should note here that A hat, uh, B hat, C hat are uh, unit vectors. Find the magnitude of the lattice translation vector between the two points in terms of P, Q, S, alpha, beta and gamma. So as you can see here, we have an A axis, B axis and C axis. We have the unit vectors a hat, b hat, and c hat. The angle between a p vector and q vector was um, alpha. So that means the angle between a hat and b hat is alpha. The angle between a q vector and s vector was uh, beta. Q vector and s vector, that is uh, in b and c axes, so B hat and C hat have an angle beta in between them and the other angle between A hat and C hat is gamma. So we are to find the magnitude of the lattice translation vector R in terms of uh, these quantities. So uh, first of all, I note that the direct lattice vector R is N1A plus N2B plus N3C, which is the sum of P vector, Q vector, and S vector, which can be written as P A hat plus Q B hat plus S C hat. And I also know that the angle between uh, A hat and B hat angle is alpha. Uh, the angle between a hat and c hat is uh, gamma. The angle between b hat and c hat is beta. So let's check that. b hat and c hat is beta, a hat and b hat is alpha, and a hat and c hat is gamma. So that's correct. And we have a hat, b hat, and c hat unit vectors, so they have a magnitude of 1. Now, if I start uh, by uh, taking the dot product of the lattice translation vector with itself, basically I'm going to encounter these quantities in question P, Q, S, alpha, beta, and uh, gamma. So what I would like to try is basically take the dot product of the direct lattice vector, lattice translation vector R with itself. So it's going to be the dot product between P A hat plus Q B hat plus S C hat with P A hat plus Q B hat plus S C hat. So let's write the terms that we will encounter. The first term will be p square dot product of a hat with a hat and then I will have pq dot product of a hat with b hat and then I will have ps dot product of a hat with c hat plus the next term will be uh, for uh, q uh, so I have dealt with uh, this one, uh, this one, and this one. So 
these I have dealt with already. Now, uh, the second one is uh, PQ or QP, so let's write it as PQ. Uh, PQ B hat dot A hat plus Q square B hat dot B hat. Then I have QS B hat dot C hat. So I have done uh, this one and then I have done uh, this one here and also this one. Okay, and the last part will be for SC hat. I have a SP, um, so it's going to be PS in other words, C hat dot A hat plus SQ or QS uh, C hat dot B hat and the last term will be S square C hat dot C hat so I'm doing uh, this one here and then this one here and then this one here so these are the terms that I will encounter. So if I write this again, R square uh, is equal to, uh, so I note that A hat dot A hat is one. So I will have P square A hat dot A hat is one plus P Q A hat dot B hat is magnitude of A hat times magnitude of B hat times cosine of the angle between them. Magnitudes are 1, so I will encounter cosine alpha, PQ cosine alpha. And likewise, for A hat dot C hat, I will have PS uh, cosine of the angle between them, cosine gamma. Plus, then I will have um, the Q square term, Q square, B hat dot B hat is 1. Then I have PQ term b hat dot a hat is cosine alpha and then i have a qs term b hat dot c hat that is going to be cosine beta and then the last one will be s square plus uh, p a p s c hat dot a hat will give me cosine uh, gamma and then I have QS, uh, which is C hat dot B hat. C hat dot B hat gives me cosine beta. So therefore, I can see that I can uh, rewrite this as R square is equal to P square plus Q square plus S square plus I see 2PQ cosine alpha, I see 2 QS cosine beta and I see 2 PS cosine gamma. So uh, basically I have recognized two terms here for PS cosine alpha and for um, QS cosine beta I have recognized two terms here and also, here I have recognized two terms, uh, so that gives me this factor of 2. So, if I take the square root, obviously the magnitude cannot be negative, so it's going to be positive square root. So, I will have square root of p square plus q square plus s square plus 2pq cosine alpha plus 2QS cosine beta plus 2PS cosine gamma. So let's complete the square root here. And this is basically my final answer 
the magnitude of the lattice translation vector given in terms of PQS, alpha, beta and gamma. So in summary, we had an R lattice translation vector which was written in uh, basis vectors a hat b hat a, a b and c vectors with integers n1 n2 n3 those components on those basis vectors were uh, p q and s so p a hat q b hat and s c hat add up to my let's translation vector r and uh, i know the angles between a hat b hat uh, a hat c hat and b hat c hat i have shown them here it's a hat b hat is alpha b hat c hat is beta a hat c hat is gamma uh, so i want to find the magnitude of the lattice translation vector and i note that these a hat b hat and c hat are unit vectors so what i do is i take the dot product of the le direct lattice vector r with itself and uh, for uh, each term where i obtain uh, a hat dot a hat for example is 1 or uh, let's give another example here for a hat dot b hat it is 1 times 1 times cosine of the angle between them alpha etc so I have these these terms uh, because the magnitude of a hat b hat and c hat are 1 the magnitudes are 1 so uh, I group the, the, the terms in uh, P, Q, P, S and Q, S parentheses and I get the final answer. R is square root of P square plus Q square plus S square plus 2 P, Q cosine alpha plus 2 Q, S cosine beta plus 2 P, S cosine gamma.